If you're on the market for a keyboard and mouse combo that allows you to switch between devices at a push of a button, then one of the most obvious choices would be the Logitech MX Master Keys and the MX3S mouse. However, at nearly £200, it's out of a lot of people's budget, including my own. Well, today we have the Dell KM 732 1W combo mouse and keyboard, which costs around £90. And like the Logitech MX, it allows you to move between three devices at a push of a button. And in this video, we will be unboxing, setting up, reviewing and comparing its functionality against the MX Master and letting you know if it's worth buying. Let's start with the unboxing. On the packaging you see a picture of the keyboard and mouse, then you have the Dell logo here. Opening it up, we are greeted with the wireless keyboard and mouse neatly placed inside. I like the grey colour with the darker keys. Picking it up for the first time, it's got a bit of weight to it. It feels solid, there is no flex and the plastic looks premium. We will put it away and have a look at the accessories here we have the batteries Dell didn't cheap out here with the batteries we have some Duracells and here we have the manual now to the mouse it's fairly light it looks clean and there's no fancy RGBs here having a closer look at the design of the keyboard it does look sleek it's a low profile design and down at the bottom you can see how slim it is it's around five millimeters over to the side it's raised towards you so it doesn't sit flat now you do have these legs that raise it further and I prefer this angle overall I do like the design it's professional and will suit most desk setups onto the mouse first impressions it just looks like a regular mouse there's no groundbreaking designs and there are no ergonomic features it's got the same color scheme as a keyboard as you would expect moving on to the setup it's a breeze simply pop in the batteries turn the keyboard and mouse on and connect the USB receiver to your computer and they instantly sync up there are no drivers required the Bluetooth connection is just as easy cycle through to the second channel and you get a pop up on your device asking you to connect. Press and connect and install the drivers. On the keyboard there is a code to type and it's the same process with the mouse other than there is no code to type. On my desk setup here I have the USB receiver in my PC and connected to my content creation laptop via Bluetooth. And my works laptop here on the right. I can switch between just by pressing this button here and cycle through them. Prior to this I was constantly moving the USB receiver between all these devices and it was very frustrating. This alone for me is worth that £90 price tag. Now on the Logitech keyboard you have separate buttons when selecting which device and in my opinion this is the better option as you're cycling through the device numbers you often go past and need to cycle again and it can be slightly annoying. Annoying. Now let's talk about the feel of the keyboard. The keyboard keys feel nice on the fingertips. There is just the right amount of key travel. They are also fairly quiet, so would suit both home and office environment. Here is how it sounds. It's a full size keyboard and you have most of the keys in a dark grey colour and this section here in a lighter shade of grey then back to the dark grey. It breaks up the keys but it also makes it easier to identify and home in on the keys you want. Unfortunately unlike the MX keys there is no backlight. Does it need it? Not necessarily in my opinion. The mouse fits well in the hand, fairly comfortable. You have the scroll wheel and as you scroll you feel it going into notches and it's got a rubber feel to it. Below it looks like a button but it's not. Then you have this whole section here which is a button which switches between the devices you have configured. It remembers the last device it was connected to. To the left you have these two buttons that you can assign an action to via the peripheral manager software and there is quite a few actions you can choose from as you can see on screen. It has a 4000 dpi setting. This can be changed within the software to these values decreasing its sensitivity and accuracy. The mouse works fine on both glass and cloth surfaces. I can tell you from experience a mouse this size will cause cramps after lengthy usage if you're not taking breaks. I just feel it needs to be slightly bigger. Now I do own an MX Master 2S and hands down it's the better mouse especially with the ergonomic shape but that thumb rest does make the difference and in my opinion if it's not patented then I would suggest Dell try making the next combo set with this design. I did play a bit of Call of Duty with the mouse and found it accurate to use. As you saw during the setup the mouse is operated by batteries which the logic has rechargeable batteries that you can charge via a USB cable which would have been the better choice. Now with the Dell peripheral manager software it does give you a battery status so hopefully you won't be in a situation where it runs out unexpectedly. And on the subject of the software you're able to make some basic changes such as set the DPI as mentioned, change the primary mouse button, 
With the Logitech MX software, you could do a heap more and its ability to allow you to copy data and switch between devices, then paste that data is an awesome feature and something that the Dell lacks. So should you avoid it? shortlist it or should you go ahead and buy it i would buy it the dell combo is an excellent choice for those who want a keyboard capable of switching between three devices and over half the price of the logitech mx keys and the 3s combo in my opinion it's worth buying it has a stylish design and will suit most desks it's easy to set up offers a great typing and mouse experience yes it's missing some key features when you compare it to the mx range but that is why you pay the premium price tag for that the mouse is a bit of a letdown in my opinion Opinion, just making it bigger and giving it better ergonomic design then Dell are onto a winning combo. What do you guys think? Would you pay the extra £110 for the MX? Let me know in the comments. If you like this video please be sure to give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing to the channel for more tech reviews. Until next time thank you for watching.